Hi guys, welcome back to us up here at the storage yard today. Now it's absolutely lumping it down with rain, but we've just been doing a few bits and bobs today. And we've just been talking about, well, when we bought the caravan. And you know what? We both decided that maybe it would be a story that uh, you would like to hear. It's something I don't think we've ever shared with anybody. No. June 2014, and I had decided, I woke up one morning and I decided that enough was enough we were going to have a holiday yeah now we hadn't had a holiday up until that point for how many years five years five years and that was down to the work that i was doing at that time it didn't really cater for me taking extended time off um and in the previous roles i'd had it was it wasn't unheard of me having to just literally fly out the door at any given point so we just went through the previous five years just not really bothering we had days out we had trips away um, yeah. we stayed away a couple of times didn't we but yeah it wasn't something you would say it was a holiday it was just literally just a, a little getaway yeah that was it <laughs> yeah and i reminded myself of when i used to go camping caravanning with my mum and dad and all the fun we used to have back then and it was fairly inexpensive and the beauty of it what i thought was a sales pitch was the fact that it could be fairly spontaneous that at any given point we could just up sticks and go and that really appealed to me but you <laughs> didn't really like the idea of caravanning at all it was more camping than caravanning because i'd never really experienced the caravanning side yeah mm. but my expectations of caravanning were based upon my trips away with my mum and dad back in the early 80s We'll wake up in the morning in our sleeping bags with a bit of condensation on our faces and <laughs> sleep in very uncomfortable conditions and cook our, our beans over uh, a couple of gas hobs, you know. But I thought, you know, it'd be great experience, great fun for us. So I did some research and we found, uh, I found a couple of caravans and what sort of price they would go for. And they were about £7,000. And my rationale to Angela, if we go away for one week in Costa del Crap, it would cost <laughs> us about £4,000. Yeah. £3,000, £4,000. And what will happen is we'll go away for seven days. Mm -hmm. The kids will find friends and they'll run yeah. around and they'll play by the pool. And we will sit down and we'll get lazy and read books by the pool. We'll drink terrible drinks we'll eat terrible food we'll go yeah. for a couple of excursions and then we'll come home and my rationale was well okay it's going to cost us about three and a half four thousand pounds to do that for a family of four how about we do that and this is where the sales pitch came in how about we do all of that and achieve exactly that result but do it for 200 pounds and Angela said well that's impossible and I and this is where I said well <laughs> You know, this is where we can do it. We get a caravan. We yeah. spend seven thousand pounds on a caravan, and a week away will cost us two hundred pounds. You know, obviously places are more expensive. But there's cheaper places. The kids can go run around the pool. We can lie around and read our books. We can eat terrible food or drink terrible <laughs> drinks. Uh, but it's our own little home from home, and we don't have to get out of bed when we. You know, so I put the whole sales pitch on. Angela was like, oh, "Okay." So I just said, "Well, you know." £7,000 has an awful lot of money. And I said, yeah, it is. But, you know, that's two holidays. And mm. we can have as many holidays in a year as we want. Yeah. Thankfully, where we live, there's a dealer not too far away from where we actually live. So I had a look on their website, see what they had in and around £7,000. And we went up to the dealership and we looked around these beautiful, beautiful brand new caravans, which were, well lovely weren't they yeah and then we got to the back of the the forecourt at the dealership and there were these seven thousand pound sheds yes on wheels <laughs> it's the only way we can describe them and we went inside and they were crushed velvet red velour <laughs> and they smelt like a smoker had literally lived in there for a year and everything was yellow yeah. and oh even thinking back to it now, it was horrendous. It was. You sort of didn't feel as if it was very nice. Certainly not something you'd want to spend a week away in, would no. it? No. No. So I was feeling really deflated about this. And I thought, oh, bugger. I'm not going to sell this to Angela. This, back to the drawing board. 
Um, and Andrea said no, absolutely not. And I'm thinking, if that's what they're like at £7,000, Christ, how much do we have to spend in order to get, you know, something that we like? Mm. And we were walking out the... We were walking out of the dealership and we we're just spontaneously going in a couple of the caravans. And we we found this caravan, this very caravan, yeah. on the on the forecourt. And it was 15? Yeah, it was advertised as 15, but... That's right, it's yeah. 15,000 pounds. Yeah. And uh, we sat in it, we didn't know what the price was at that point. We sat in it and, you know, and I don't know if you do this, but we, we sat in there and we... We fantasised, we thought, yeah, this would be great. The kids are running around outside, drinking lashings of ginger beer, and, you know, <laughs> and we're having great fun times in Devon, and we're sat inside here reading our books, having, you know, a relaxing time, but the children are having a great time, and everybody's doing what they want to do, you know, and it's fantastic. And we sat in this caravan and we thought, well, actually, if this is what we want, yeah, this is how much we need to save. So we thought £15,000, okay, that's the budget we need to aim for in order to do this. It was a heck of a lot of money. But I went home and I did my maths and I did my sums and I worked out that I do have some money in savings and I knew that back then I needed to do a few few jobs, a few gigs, get some invoicing done and work hard at it. So we started ploughing through the numbers and started getting more work in, doing extra you know, bits and bobs. Yeah. You did a few more hours as well. Yeah. You know, we really worked hard at it. And um, and we went away to Burnham on Sea. Yes. The one that's now burnt down. Mm. Ironic. And we walked around there and there were some fantastic caravans for well under what we expected to pay. And every caravan we looked at, we compared to this one. The one, the very first yeah. one we sat in, we compared everything to this one. And we we decided we didn't want a fixed bed. We decided that, you know, we liked this colour interior. We decided that Luna was the one that we were going to go for because it just felt nice. Yeah. I started doing all my research, doing bits and bobs, you know, trying to find the answers to some of the questions that I had. You know, we just generally um, researched everything. And then one day I just spontaneously opened up the browser on the computer and I had a look to see what their caravans they had at the, the dealership up the road. And this one, this very caravan... The one that we sat in all that mm -hmm. time ago was reduced. They needed to get rid of it. Yeah. And it was reduced down to 11. 11 and a half. And I had that. And Angela didn't know I had that. <laughs> but I had that money, cash, in the savings account, in the deposit yeah. account. And I had it and I thought, yeah, all right, fine. So we drove up. We stood up here and we, we took the children with us, didn't we? Yeah. Because I knew what was going to happen. Nobody else did. <laughs> and the salesman came out and he gave us the sales pitch, you know, and he said, blah, blah, blah. and I had some questions, you know. And uh, I said to him, I said, well, should we buy it then? And you stood there and you went, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, thinking I was going to try and haggle or something. You said, I don't know. I said, all right, we'll buy it. And the kids, well, both Tom and Chloe, they just literally said, no way. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an awesome day. Mm. And we bought it. And, um, we ended up spending more than £11,500 because obviously that's not just the cost of the caravan. You obviously need to put a tow bar on the car and then the shopping then started. Yeah. <laughs> so we put the deposit on the caravan. I got the car booked in to have a uh, its a tow bar fitted um, and I had everything in place that day. The tow bar being fitted, the caravan purchased. Um, they, the, the dealership gave us a starter pack as well at £500. Yeah. Uh, the caravan was going to be ready for us for five or six weeks. It was about six weeks, they said. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because they just were overwhelmed by people coming in and buying stuff. So uh, it gave us time to then go away and buy everything that we needed to go inside the caravan. And that's when we went to Ikea. Yeah. Um, Amazon got used a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, the range. The range, yeah. The range and yeah. all the pound shops, you know. And we bought everything that we thought we needed like sleeping bags like cutlery yeah. uh, camping utensils and we bought a barbecue which we mm. never used until last year um, barbecue utensils all of these things we bought we, we've mm. spent a fortune on all of it half of which we don't use and no. half of it is now being replaced with proper stuff yes and then the day that we picked it up yeah. I will never forget that day. <laughs> you were so nervous. I was so nervous. 
I was like a rabbit caught in the headlights. Yeah. The guys were great. They gave us a tour of the caravan, showed us how to use the bits and bobs. Mm. And then it was my turn to tow the caravan out of the, the compound and out onto the road. But one guy had parked really close to one side and I was absolutely panicking about the swing of the back of the caravan mm. as I was pulling out and I was just absolutely bricking it. So you were sorting out bits inside the shop. Yeah. Picking up the awning, I think. Yes. And I had to take, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I would have gone all different shades of white. But pulled it out of the compound, loaded up the car with the uh, the awning and the bits and bobs that we that we bought, and I took it onto the road. And it was, I, I reckon it would have been just about, what, a quarter of a mile? Yeah. Quarter of a mile, and I forgot the caravan was there. It was fine. It was just, it was just like having a brand new car. You know what the experience of a new mm. car, when you haven't got, an idea where your corners are it was just like that because i as far as i was concerned it was two miles wide and 18 miles long you know <laughs> that's what it felt like but literally i went down went round the roundabout and down all the little windy lanes and i forgot it was there um it was it was great actually it was fine because then i got really used to it and um brought it up to the storage yard parked it up and sat in it for the rest of the day didn't we yeah and then we had to go home pick up the children from school and the children wanted to come up and sit in it as well so we brought the children yeah. up oh it was great <laughs> and we were so keen to go away weren't we yeah really keen and we sadly we had a party to go to that no we were hosting a party that weekend yeah i got very drunk i remember yes <laughs> but the following weekend we went and stayed with some friends of ours they've got this wonderful big uh, plot of land and we went away then and we thought well we'll try everything we'll press buttons Flip yeah. switches, do all of that bits and bobs, you know. We went away for a weekend. Oh, it was awesome. awesome. And then a couple of weekends later, that's when we went to our first proper site. That's right, that was Sirencester. Yep. And we went, that was October. Yeah. And we just didn't want to leave. It was absolutely awesome. And from there, the rest is history, isn't it? Yeah. Thinking back on it now, mm. would you um, would you change anything now? I know sometimes I sit there and say, oh, I'd be better with a fixed bed, but space-wise, I don't think you'd get that much space. No, mm. no. One thing has become very apparent for me is mm. I am full of regret. We should have done this a long time ago, mm. actually. We should have been doing this many years ago because we have such good fun. Yeah, if we'd done it when the children were younger, we'd oh. have more experience of it. And I feel really guilty because Tom has missed out quite a lot of that. Mm. I mean, he's had a great childhood, don't get me wrong, you know, he's, yeah. he's, he's had a great time. But I feel really sad the fact that he hasn't experienced what Chloe's experiencing now. Yeah. And, you know, that makes me sad, actually. Because but I then think... again, I think he's got the bug for it. Yeah. Because he's now going out buying his own tent and that's right getting everything organized yeah yeah and he's got that excitement at the moment of purchasing everything for his yeah, camping <laughs> yeah so we're going through exactly the same experience this time with not a caravan but with a tent and uh, and you're going to see plenty of that anyway because yeah. this year uh, i hope to share with you some of the things that tom's doing as well because mm. uh, he hasn't been in these videos recently no um and uh, but he's having a great time at the moment so you know we'll be sharing some of that with you yeah but, yeah, that's my only thing. I, the, the mantra, I think I said it, actually, on the first time we went away, I said, why didn't we do this earlier? Yeah. You know, <laughs> and I, I hear loads of other people saying it as well. You know, why didn't we do this earlier? Mm. Yeah. Good stuff. There you go, then, guys. Um, I hope that's been uh, an insight for you, and I hope you've enjoyed this, sharing this with you today. So why don't you share with us your experiences and your stories of when you bought your caravan, or, or are you about to purchase your caravan? It'd be lovely to hear some stories. Um, leave a comment down below and uh, and i will read them and we'll uh, we'll discuss them in another video no doubt yeah so until next one guys i hope this has been delightful for you delightful delightful i hope this has been delightful for you and uh, we will speak to you in the next one bye bye